Greetings. Welcome to the College of Winterhold. Those wishing to join the College must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. One needs to be able to cast at least apprentice-level spells in any school of magic before being allowed to join the College. You know, I think you're right. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. You'll need to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Welcome to the college. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. 
Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. If there are any problems, let me know. It's my job to keep things running smoothly. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on this. It's lies. All of it. I do For Alda, don't act. My problem with her. She's threatened by me. By my... But she is not going... She's trying to undermine my confidence. Make me doubt myself. Well, it won't... If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. Just like anywhere else, it's all about who you know. Lucky for you... Now I'll right, show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. I'm working on some very important research, I assure you. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent magic ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. And we've only just arrived here. 
You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward. We'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's what this lesson is for. Perfect time to try it out. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now. Cast the ward spell and keep it. Something you, have you need. To keep your ward up, or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? Anything. Anything at all that might be of interest. That's why I adore this location. We have no idea what we're going to find. And if along the way my message about the dangers of magic should happen to sink in for a few students, that would be a happy coincidence. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. of tears. Not much is known about what happened to Sarthor. Can't be fast. All I see is bones. This is an exciting opportunity for us to be able to study such an... Well, are there any questions before we begin? Ah, yes. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Now let's see. What shall we have the rest of you do? Live or under. All right, everyone. Let's be careful, but have fun. Certainly none of this will benefit my research. What? Ah, yes. You. I remember you. You're going to help? That's fine. Just... 
Just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... You can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. Uh-huh. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? How in the world did that happen? Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? of resonance. You and the wall. It must be connected to the amulet. I wonder what effect might your spells have. Please be careful here. The site isn't entirely secure. Mm -hmm. If you break it, I'm not paying for it. Why in the world would this be sealed off? What is this place? set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. Take great care, and know that the Order is watching. I... I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? Take care now.
This buried so far within Sarthol. What could this place be? Until next time. What? 
could this place be? I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Savos Aran of this discovery? Please, hurry. You are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. Sir? <laughs> How quaint. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. I see. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more specific explanation. You then. I have questions. You there. I have questions for you. You were in Sarthol, yes? It has come to my attention that something was found there. I know full well that you have. Please do not insult my intelligence. Torfdir is still there now, is he? I shall expect a full report when he returns. Something was discovered in Sarthol that was significant enough that Torfdir sent a new member of the college alone to deliver word. That sounds precisely like the sort of thing that should matter to everyone, especially me. Thank you for your help. You may go now. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. Dis now, do you require assistance? I know what you want. Word travels fast around here. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. So you're the one who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. How nice to meet you. So you're just one of Arryn's lackeys. That's disappointing. You show real promise. You come here, kill my assistants, disrupt my work. You've annoyed me, so I don't think I'll be giving you anything. Fine. Take them and be gone. Never return here, or else you'll face my full wrath.
The Archmage believed it important. It must be powerful. We don't... Yes? Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over, and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, it... Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. And... here. I suppose you've earned these. Fight well. What can I do for you, friend? What do you need to take? Now let's... Move. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine... Of course. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aeliad, Dwemer, Daedric, not even Falmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience, but can you feel that? This marvelous object. It practically radiates magicka, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must intrude. No, I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order here in the College. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you, specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. I'll be the one asking the questions. All you need to know... They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. I said let's go, now. Now, you are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. It is good to meet you in person. I merely wish to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately, but I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance, and attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. 
I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. Unfortunately, the future is as obscure to us as it is to you. The overwhelming power of the eye makes it difficult for us to see. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help, but this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Where were you about to what say What is the meaning something? of this? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't worry, You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly, I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. I'm... I'm not sh A monk from the Psychic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. All right, then. Skyrim still has such fine... Well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Underneath the college, it's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, please do be careful. There is no help for you here. Another one bites the dust. Well, figuratively speaking.
solace in knowing what is to come. Your perseverance will only lead to disappointment. as well, unaware they will be his undoing. Your path now follows his, though you will arrive too late. No, though you may be the last, the one who calls himself Ancano has sought my knowledge as well through very different questions. Your path differs from most. You are being guided, pushed towards something. It is a good path, one untraveled by many. It is a path that can save your college. I will tell you what you need to know to follow it further. You, and those aiding you, wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. To see through Magnus' eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center. So you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your Archmage. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several. Really? And what might that be? I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. And how do you know of this? Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. I certainly do. Since you went so far as to seek out the Augur for advice, I thought you'd be more enthusiastic. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. G Gavros! Is that you? I'd almost given up hope. Let me get the door. Hmm? What? The? What? what are you doing here? What have you done with Gavros? was the Falmer, wasn't it? 
curse them. They've ruined everything. If Gavros is gone, there is no hope. He was supposed to return with the crystal. Without that, all our efforts are wasted. And you, if you're here for treasure or wisdom or anything, I'm afraid you've wasted your time. It didn't work the first time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold, he said. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. You found... How in the world? That's it? That's it? I don't know who you are, but... You may have just saved this little project. In fact, who are you, anyway? You are, are you? Savos wouldn't even grant us an audience when we came to you. But now you come here expecting something from me? I don't much like this, I'll tell you. But you saved my skin, so maybe I can overlook the past for now. Come on, I'll explain on the way. No matter what Gavros said, this was my idea first. The Council is going to know that when I get back. I was the one who thought of using this... this oculory. I don't know what the dwarves called it. Something unpronounceable, I'm sure. From all our research, it seems they were intent on discerning the nature of the Divine. This machinery, all of it, was designed... ...like starlight, and then, I'm not sure, split it somehow? It was my idea to replace one of the key elements with our focusing crystal. Months of enchantments went into it. Let's just hope they got it right this time. an incredible amount of work to get it running again. Now I'm hoping it'll all be worth it. Place the crystal in the central apparatus, and we can start the process for focusing it.
finally going to pay off. What's this? These results, they're not at all what they should be. This projection should be lit up like the night sky. Something is creating an incredible amount of interference. Something in Winterhold, it looks like. What are you playing at? Is this some attempt to stall my work? So what is it? What have you done? Did you know what we were at? Well, explain yourself. You and your college have ruined you. How did you do it? Either you're lying to me, or you have something at your college, don't you? Something immensely powerful, beyond anything I've anticipated. What is it? The Eye of Magnus? Well, I suppose that that means what I think it does. Well, that's interesting. Yes, the staff. Interesting. I can't explain the details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Also, I doubt you'd be able to comprehend the details. Have you seen the orrery in the Imperial City? It was the inspiration for this idea. Instead of projecting the sky, we project all of Tamriel, and then harness the latent energies to overlay the positions of... What's important is that all of this work was designed to reveal to us sources of great magical power. Purely to help safeguard the Empire, of course. And yet, in the end, only two locations have been revealed to us. One is your college. The other, well, that can only be Labyrinthian. So, mage from Winterhold, despite your intentions, I've beaten your little game. Even if all you've said here is lies, I know you have something in Winterhold the Synod Council will be very interested in. So fine, trudge off to Labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil and deliver my full report to the Council. This is not over, I assure you. Am I? Am I? I think I've discovered more here than I could have hoped to. Your trickery won't confuse me. I think we're done here. You have done well thus far, but trying times are ahead. It is imperative that you return to your college at once. You will be called on to take swift action. Rise to the challenge and discover what you are capable of. You are on the right path, and you will prevail. I don't know. It's like a ward, but who's casting it? On Kano? How? I don't care what it is. I want it down now. I want to know what he's doing in there. I don't know what he's doing, but he won't get away with it. Excellent. I'd suggest that we go retrieve it immediately. But right now we have more pressing matters. Ancano has somehow locked himself in the hall. He's up to something, and I intend to put a stop to it. Help us get through this, will you? We're throwing everything we have at it. Walk. I need you on your feet. We're in trouble here. Ancano is doing something with that thing, the eye. We can't stop him. I haven't seen Savo since the explosion. He must have been... I need you to find the Archmage, and I need you to do it quickly. Get moving. I'll be fine. I just need a minute to catch my breath. Find Savos.
as fearless in death as they, uh, well. Are you all right? What happened in there? By the nine, is he responsible for this? The Archmage? Dead? There's more. Something's happened to Winterhold. It must be whatever Ancano did. You need to get out there and make sure it's safe. Quickly now, quickly. I'll find Mirabelle and see if we can't put a stop to this. Is he dead? What's going on? What happened in there? We'll go with you, but when this is all over, I want an explanation. What's going on? What happened? We'll go with you, but when this is all over... before anyone even knows we're gone. You would care about that, since you're the Archmage's favorite. Don't forget, this whole idea was Atmas to begin with. Let's just get inside, see what's in there. Talking like you're sure we'll find something useful. My coin purse. The 
is feeling a little light. Against six college-trained mages? I think we'll be fine. It was Atma's idea to come here at first. She talked me into it, and I convinced the others. We were sure we'd find it all here, hidden away from time, power, knowledge, all the things we didn't want to wait for. We thought it would be so simple. We can still do this! Savos is right. We can make it if we just stay alert. Hirduin died first. It happened so fast, none of us had a chance to react. One moment we joked about what we'd find below, and next, he'd been ripped in half. And then we were all fighting just to survive. None of us were prepared. It was amazing the rest of us survived. When it was over, Atma, Hafnar, and I stared pale-faced at one another, unwilling to admit we'd made a terrible mistake. We could have turned back. It could have ended there. But we kept going.
We can't stop now. We have to keep moving. Dead. Something grabbed her from behind. Gone before I could do anything. This is the sanity. We never should have come. You're right. This is all my fault. Should we turn around, head back? I don't think going back is a good idea. That will be the end of all of us. We keep pushing forward and we'll make it. We will. Come on, you can make it. Let's go. Elvali died here. I don't even remember who killed her. One of the countless faceless horrors. I think she was glad in that final moment. Hafnar was covered in blood. But he said ignored the I... I don't know why I pressed the other thought. Convince them to keep going. If we can just make it through, it'll all be worth it, I told them. I myself didn't trust. Light. 